So, Brandy, you alluded to it uh, at the top of the show. Uh, some things going on in the world of hip hop. Uh, since you're our resident expert on, on, on things concerning young people. I'm washed. You know, I heard it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that was what saying, too. So Kendrick Lamar did a feature on Future Metro Boomer's new album on a track called Like That and used his verse to take some shots at Drake and J. Cole. Amongst the lyri lyrical jabs thrown was Kendrick saying, F the big three, it's just big me, the big three being... Kendrick Drake and J. Cole, correct? So, Brandon, I know you heard the track. I know you listened to it extensively, broke it down. Uh, also representing L.A., Compton, Gardena, those areas. So, have a, a firm grasp of what's going on in the mind of Kendrick Lamar. Would you think about this song? Would you, what are your reactions to it? I mean, I love the song. I mean, I think it's great for hip-hop. Um, I think now that Kendrick's out of that deal with TDE, he can unleash some things that we've never heard. And um, he can, he's more free now. Um, but, you know, when you start talking like that in hip-hop, you know, you got to be ready for what's coming back. Um, one thing about Drake, though, is, like, we know everything about Drake, and we don't know really too much about everybody else, so it's kind of like it's going to be interesting to see what Drake got to say because we don't really know too much about anybody else. Okay. Shad, you, you share those sentiments? It's up. It's up. <laughs> <laughs> Time to pick a side? It's fucking up. <laughs> and I'm with K-Dot and them. Okay. Yeah. Why, yeah. why are you on Team K-Dot? Um, I ain't really got to their work yet. I ain't got to his work yet. So I got to all the other niggas' work. You know what I'm saying? Drake and them, they just be moving around and shit too much. And I think that K-Dot been waiting for this. He's, he's retaliating. This ain't no, I'm punching first. This is, y'all niggas talking about me. I think J. Cole been waiting on this. <clears throat> it don't matter who's in the way. You, you in the way of this is Kung Fu Kenny, man. Kung Fu Kenny don't play around about nothing. I mean, I like it that, like, everybody, like, doing their own thing now. Because it brings back the competition. But like, they teaming up. That's what he said. Y'all teaming up. No, I, um, think, no, I think this is more... I don't even think Drake is really in, in this, K though. I think it's these, more just... I got these K with all these nines. It's going to be a pet cemetery. I think it's more K. Dot and J. Cole. It's all of them. I mean, yeah, I mean, everybody. You yeah. say all these dogs. I mean, yeah, everybody all can the, get all it. It's for all your dogs. I got K for all y'all dogs. Uh, huh? Uh. Well, you know, well, well, you know Jay Z's still alive, so. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're on the older side. <laughs> Sent you the song. <laughs> As a man who enjoys beef, the beef sector. What is the argument here? I mean, what do we? <coughs> got to pick a side. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah you got to pick a side. This is Gil I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm old school. You're old. All so right. So I like Kendry. I like Drake. I like Cole. <laughs> Future, future too. Future. <laughs> <laughs> That's what got to pick no fucking side. Just like basketball, yeah. I like Kobe, I like LeBron, yeah. and I like Jordan. Yeah. I, that's it. I you yeah. gotta fucking pick. The fuck I'm picking? For? <laughs> you can like everybody. All right. They're all different. So what am I picking for? They're all different. One's a pop star. Two are rappers. One, they're different. <clears throat> you can't come to my party if you're fucking with them. <laughs> you gotta pick a are side. you coming in my party or are you taking your ass home? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Whose party? Future uh, and K-Dot party. You trying to come in. Hey, hey, you still fucking with them niggas over so there? Who did, who did Future pick? Future with uh, K-Dot. So he's not with Drake when mm -hmm. you did a whole Drake album? Nope. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's over. So you I mean, ain't yeah, here I mean, the beef. I mean, over you don't know the beef, huh? It's, it's the, over with now. So the beef is Drake and Future beefing over a bitch from Booby Trap. Cap. <laughs> now I heard it started with Metro Boomin first. Cap. Yeah, his one of his joints. Yeah, Metro Boomin some, first. Some pillow talking as the young. Yeah. Pillow, yeah, pillow talking. Whatever it is, it's over a female. I think. For we sure. have we have a whole album together. But are you are you coming? <laughs> you can't you can't take our whole album. Are you coming to my party or are you going home? No, nah, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home and just watch. Right from the crib. Yeah. So you chose sides. I ain't choose no sides. You did. You ain't coming to party. Whose yeah. party? Future Who's... and K-Dot party. So the future K-Dot. Yeah. So he was saying, invited. So he's saying like you invited to the K-Dot party, but they like, y'all, you still fuck with Drake. You still though. fucking with Drake like, and Drake them? And Cole, like... If he invite me to a party, I'm going to go to the party, and then I'm going to go to the Drake party. But you can't come in. Still fucking with them. So you got to pick a side. Oh, that's a little kid shit. I'm not picking nobody. <laughs> that's side. what they are. Hey, I'm not, I'm not pick picking a side. no side, dog. Uh, when Shaq 30. and Kobe was having their problems, 
I was watching the Laker games and I was watching the Miami games. Who? And they was both on the same time. One's gonna be in the little box. One's gonna be in the big box. Which one Switch was it? Which time. one was in the? Oh, Switch okay. it at halftime. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, then better question. All right, so who's the best rapper then, out of those three? Who's the best rapper out of those three? Yeah, out of Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drake. Shit, I don't know. The best rapper? Yeah, like who raps the best to you? What are we going off of? What's the criteria? Rap? Lyrics? Rap. Just songs? Lyrics? Man. Lyrics? I don't know. Rap? I'm from the West Coast, bro. We listen to beats. I mean, the beats. <laughs> I mean, the beats. The beats. What's going? Give me the shaking. Yeah, I mean, that's what yeah. West Coast is about. Beats. Yeah, since, they are important. Since when? Since the beginning of the time. No, yeah, yeah no beats, beats for sure. Yeah. Beats, no, beats for to sure. But lyrics too, though. Like, like I didn't listen to Eminem because uh, what, what club songs he gonna have? I mean, we're going there and listening to Stan. How you how you grind a Stan? <laughs> How you grind the stand? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> what? No, if you really bout it, you'll find a way. But <laughs> after the verse drop, uh, Drake offered this response during his show, show in Florida this weekend. The way I'm feeling is the same way I want you to walk out of here feeling about your fucking self. Because you know how I'm feeling? I got my fucking head up high, my back straight. I'm 10 fucking toes down in Florida or anywhere else I go. And I know that no matter what, it's not a n on this earth that can ever fuck with me in my life. And that's how I want you to walk out of here tonight. But, but in order to, you know, get yourselves all gassed up, riled up, and move towards the future, sometimes, sometimes you gotta acknowledge the mistakes that you made in the past, right? In order to move to the future, sometimes you have to acknowledge the stake, mistakes you made in the past. Uh, Brandon, does Drake need to respond to Kendrick's diss, and if so, how quickly? He already responded. He already responded. That was yeah. That was the response. No, that wasn't a response. He that responded. is the re huh? I heard the response. He made it. He made it. I heard that was AI. I heard that was AI Drake. Oh, AI yeah. Response. Yeah. I heard that was AI Drake. Yeah. yeah you talking about? Right. I mean, I mean, but whoever, who, but whoever Drake, was in there, AI, AI but whoever was in there, right? That was all right. Yeah. He better than Drake. Already did it for him. Yeah. Oh shit. I mean, I, I mean, the beef not really with him. It's with it's J Cole and Kendrick. But I mean, if he wants to, go ahead. So J Cole need to respond. Yeah, J, yeah. A J Cole got something coming for sure. Expeditiously. All right, well, let's move into some basketball. It, responding is the dumbest thing because we always put a time on it, right? Mm. You always put a time on it. You have like three days or four <laughs> days to respond. Yeah. If you don't respond fast enough, then it's over, right? Oh, it, it don't count now, right. which right. is the, the dumbest thing because we don't know how long he's been working on this, this verse, right? <clears throat> you know, Shooter came out how long ago? A couple months? Two months ago? Well, we don't know how long they was working on that, that verse to, to, shoot at, to shoot at Kendrick. Again. And Drake so never we, responded to Pusha T. Huh? Drake never responded to Pusha T. So it's 60 days, right? I mean, Drake never responded. No, what I'm saying is, that beef was going. No, what I'm saying is 60 days, we, we can say Shooter's been out, right? So, you know, Kendrick had at least 60 days mm -hmm. for his response. So in, so basically, for a fair one, you have to give the dude 60 days 60 to respond. Day, okay. Because if you say, oh, you got to do it, do it in three days, and he spent 60 days on it, it's never going to equate. Yeah, right? that's the fans. It's, 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 yeah, it's yeah that's just the equate. fans. Yeah. That's why yeah. whoever gets hit first always loses, because they're pressured to respond now. <laughs> when yeah, I mean, I would just wait. I'll still just wait till an album or whatever. Like, yeah, I, would, I, I wouldn't, I mean, it's no... I mean, you know, I don't know. Rest, this is the thing. The history of this beef go back to Control, which is a diss track Kendrick dropped on all them niggas. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm killing mm -hmm. all of yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah. Right? So yep, they yep. never responded to that. So now they're t they took shots on first person shooter. Like, them taking Control shots. Control was how long? Like, Ten six, years? seven years ago. Damn. Damn. So they never responded to that. It's been a long time. I mean, it's been shots taken. But it ain't it's subliminal. He, this nigga called him out. Yeah. Names, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's tired of it. Right. So they even they still subliminal shooting at this nigga, so he just called him back out. Like, Control came out in 2013. Man, 10 years ago. Damn, we are, we are old as shit. I mean, so the, 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 the real problem is, 
how do you fight a dude who's, who's basically every five years? Ah. You got to destroy him. No. So he don't ever come back. No, you just, uh. you just, if this is what he's going to do, you just sit, keep making your music, and know he's going to leave for five more years after his album. There's no, what's the point? You're fighting I mean, he's free now, though. I mean, he was, I mean, I mean, he like was doing that, I mean, he was doing that under TD. I don't know now, you know, Kendrick's free, so. But as look, I said, I don't It's know. like a nigga, you fight, and then he go to jail, and then he come back and get out of jail, and you got to fight him again, <laughs> and then he go back to jail, and then he get out of jail, he, and then he, every time Debo? he get out of jail, he's bigger and buffer, and he like, yeah, remember me, Damon. He's Debo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember am me. a boy, yeah. Damon. Yeah, yeah. group I, hug, nigga. Like, what's the, like I, I look at it like this. When it comes to, like, the chess war, who has the most to lose? Kendrick. Drake don't have none because Drake is a pop star. He's a singer-rapper. Reputation. So he's, he's, yeah. he's, not in the, he's not in the lyrical game for him to be even compared to a rapper-rapper. Oh, uh, he no, is. No, no, no. Oh, no, yes, he why, is. That's why His he never loses. That's why he never loses no. to rappers. In the rap game, Drake is the lyrical assassin. That's why everybody looks at him to, to attack him. Yeah. But he can jump into singing and get right out of it. No, for sure. He can, he can, he can sidestep right out of it and right. do a, and do a singing fans. song. Only to the fans. The actual rap community, we still looking at him like, yo, you yep. never responded to Pusha, bro. And then what? And has that stopped any of his shows? It ain't got nothing oh. about stopping his shows. It's the respect in the rap Who community. lost their career? Nobody. Pusha actually got, actually, like, they look at him like, yo. He got famous off of Drake. Yo. Is he still famous off of Drake? Yes. Pusha. What's his last song? It's CD song. He ain't had to push nothing out. Oh, yeah, he hasn't pushed Okay. Nah. He hasn't pushed anything? He ain't pushed nothing. So he's still eating off of yeah. Doby, you know? That, I mean, whatever that is. Oh, he, he, hey, he's still, he's if, still eating if off If Drake was to say six, something five to five push her off, push her stepping out. He's, he's going selling out He's selling out uh, arenas and shit still? No? No? Oh, okay. He's doing shows in the basement. Got it. Got it. So in we the asked. Basement. We asked the chat. We asked the he chat. The, I ain't got nothing to do with this. No, thing. We're no, not, I'm not involved this side of the couch. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to do with none of that. I'm merely we a know host, what you want, my I'm nigga. just saying. We know what you I'm want. just saying. To take a shot at someone, right? When Fifty Cent took a shot at Ja Rule, right? It was to replace the dude. Get get out of here. I'm here now, and I'm gonna take your spot and go. But that wasn't the if you're throw, if you're gonna throw a shot for a kill shot and you're not gonna replace them, then what was the point of it? But there was a personal beef with that fifty shit. That wasn't a oh you rap better than me. I'm trying to kill you. No nigga, you tried to actually kill me. I'm gonna to kill your career. And he did. Going to jail. And he but he did. This he shit right here that we talking about is rap. This yeah. is a rap beef. This is a, this is a duel. Bars. Yeah, we're looking. This for is bars. a duel. Like there ain't no personal. X, Y, Z. Even with the Pusha and, and Drake shit, it could have been personal, which is why Drake said I didn't respond because I could have ended your whole life, but you never responded. With him and Meek, he killed Meek, literally. Meek ain't never been the same since. So now it's like, all right, you got to respond now. You do you have to? Why? Because it's a beef. It's not a I'm beef. calling you out. But that's what I said. I, you're beefing with a dude who comes around once in a blue moon. I'm going to just keep it moving. Knocking on your door. Like if you gonna, my nigga, where my money at? Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers. It's like... Jeepers like, Creepers. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like the NBA Joker thing, right? We play four times a year. I play you once on, at my home crowd, and I see you next year. You keep dodging the other three games. That's how that looks. Just two, though. Give no, I'm just two. saying. I'm, I'm just saying. Clear. If it was a West Coast, I'm playing you to one game. I score yeah. 50 on you. Then I'm not. Right? not and then cool. I'm not playing you no more. I'm never going to play you at your home crowd. I'm just going to play in my turn. Like, what is the what is the beef? Is it ain't a real thing then? It That's is good. a real you, thing. It's a real thing. If we get to battle all the time, it's not a built. It's not a. So I don't look at it like so that. So if you're ducking me and I'm looking to battle you every time you come out here, your team, and you don't play because you had that one game, you played good, it's like everyone else is looking forward to this. I, you're I, ducking me. I think Drake's just going to keep making his music like he's been doing. He has. I don't, I don't. He's going to respond. Yeah. So we asked yeah. the chat, uh, who was the best rapper between the three? 46% said Kendrick, 37% said J. Cole, 17% said Drake. Ooh. But let's get on to basketball. Damn, that's crazy. Ooh. It's our chance. Oh, no, I, I, I mean, that's damn, wrong. Oh. That's tough. I don't know. I damn. love that. I love damn. it. The chat, the chat, the just the chat, chat is honest. Damn. No, the chat. The chat is honest. That's the wrong. I mean, that's right or wrong. Uh, yo, yeah, I, that's right to I, me I, on my my perspective. That, that is the chat. I, I, ain't, I ain't rolling. I ain't rolling. You ain't rolling? I ain't rolling. Who you rolling with? Damn, Kendrick. We ain't. Who you rolling with? 
Rap? The best rap? Just who has the best lyrics? Which ass best rapper? <clears throat> Man, whoever sells out the most arenas, dog. No. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. No, we're not talking that. No, we're yeah. talking just bars, like <laughs> lyrics. Right. Would, you, if you can, <laughs> would you rather have sell seven out Grammys and ten million dollars, or sell out? How about this? Who would you rather be right now? <laughs> <laughs> who would you rather be right now? Oop. Out of the three, okay. Who would I rather be right yeah. now? Out of the three? Yeah, the nigga with his yeah. own plane. They all got uh -huh. money. <laughs> they all got money. Kung Fu Kenny. What's Kung Fu Kenny? I will, the nigga everybody's scared of. Leave that nigga alone. I don't want to be none of them niggas. <laughs> Leave that nigga alone, man. Brandon is happy being Mr. B. 